my mother said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself worrying about what people will think of you. Don't you know that it doesn't make any difference what people think of you? All you have to know is that you're right. I went to Vietnam hoping to see what the Vietnamese themselves were doing to rebuild their country. To see who else might be helping and to hear what the Vietnamese would say about America today. Tonight on NOVA. A president dies in Dallas and the world asks, who did it? Join Walter Cronkite as he asks, who shot President Kennedy? Here is the best part. You have a head start if you are amongst the very young. The vice president of the United States, Herbert H. Humphrey. When an old friend like Jimmy Durante seemed to come almost within a syllable of introducing him as Herbert Hoover, it became one of those facts that said a lot about how Hubert Humphrey's campaign was moving in September. I like to think about problems, look at them in uh, uh, different ways, and, and finally get an answer to them. So uh, I've had a very fortunate life. Within a few seconds after the atomic bomb was dropped over Hiroshima, 90,000 people were killed. Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies, in the final sense, a theft from those who hunger and are not fed. Two worldwide revolutions are going on today. Both involve food and who gets it. An estimated 500 million people are hungry, and the number is growing. Pittsburgh town is a smoky old town, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh town is a smoky old town, solid iron from McKeesport down. Pittsburgh, Lord God. Pittsburgh. Products known to cause cancer and birth deformities in animals, to cause blood disorders, paralysis, blindness, sterility, even death among people. Products totally banned or severely restricted for only certain uses in our part of the world. Why do we find these products unsafe here, but okay for use elsewhere? So long as nations harbor terrorists, freedom is at risk, and America and our allies must not and will not allow it. Well, I hope that effort to put an end to terrorism is going to include terrorism wherever we find it, including right here in the United States. In the late afternoon of December 4, 1980, an unmarked grave was found in a field in El Salvador. When it was opened in the presence of the U.S. ambassador, it revealed the bodies of four women. Mary Knoll's sisters, Maura Clark and Eda Ford. Ursuline's sister, Dorothy Kazel. And lay missionary, Jean Donovan. Of the five officers later found responsible for the rape and murder of these women, three were graduates of the United States Army School of the Americas. It seems like the whole country is on the move. Yeah. We are a gentle, angry people, and we are singing, singing for our lives. We are a gentle, angry people, and we are singing.
in my life, what I wanted for my children. Peace and quiet. The things I wanted for, my for the things I wanted for myself. You being I'm serious? not a hypocrite. You know what we want? We want them to grow up and have children that will torture them the way they're torturing us. <laughs> and their children will have children. We want them to go on. We want them to just live. That's what we want. That's why we're here at this whole thing.